It is important to analyze political extremism at the European and at the global level because extremists are cooperating on an international level. They are connecting across borders uh, with each other. They are, for example, looking for inspirations on the ideological level in other countries. They are copying each other strategies or they are forming organizations in which like-minded people from different countries are uh, meeting and working uh, together. Extremists are influencing each other on, um, ide on the ideological level across uh, borders. For example, in right-wing extremism, we can name here as an example Renaud Camus, who is a representative of the French New Right. Uh, Renaud Camus has developed a conspiracy theory, the theory of a great uh, replacement. And he says the Western governments are seeking to exchange their incumbent population by foreigners, which they are attracting through migration processes. And this conspiracy theory developed by Renaud Camus has been adopted by right-wing extremists all over Europe and all over the world. We can see, uh, for example, the right-wing terrorist in New Zealand, Brenton Tarrant, who uh, committed the attacks in Christchurch in March uh, 2019. He named his manifesto after the book and the theory of Renaud Camus, The Great uh, Replacement. We can see the same phenomenon in left-wing extremism. Uh, for example, uh, anarchists, uh, Italian uh, violence-oriented anarchists, are writing texts which are read all over Europe by uh, left-wing extremists. There are also examples of cross-border joint activities of political extremists. For example, in right-wing extremism, we can name the cooperation in uh, organizing um, martial arts festivals or music festivals like, like a Call of Terror in France. We can also name groups of neo-national socialists who are organizing themselves in uh, social media accounts like uh, Telegram. We have, uh, for example, neo-national socialists who are planning terrorist plots. And the, in these groups, we usually have um, participants from different uh, countries. We can see the same in left-wing extremism. We have activities of left-wing extremists across borders, like, for example, in February 2023, there were German left-wing extremists traveling to Budapest, to a right-wing extremist event in Budapest, in order to beat up uh, participants, right-wing extremist participants in this uh, event. And these this were, was uh, quite uh, brutal. Uh, also, we can see that left-wing extremists are organizing the protests uh, against uh, summits like G20 summits across uh, borders. Um, for example, the riots in Hamburg in July uh, 2017 have been organized on an international level by left-wing extremists. Research on political extremism can support the uh, fight and the observation of uh, uh, political extremism by the analysis um, of uh, political extremism, by anal analyzing uh, the ideologies, analyzing the strategies, and analyzing the um, organizational forms of uh, political extremism. And especially on the international level, it is uh, very fruitful to make a comparison of uh, ideologies, of strategies, of organizational forms, in order to find out what are patterns, patterns of right-wing extremism, patterns of left-wing uh, extremism. And uh, these patterns, which can be analyzed on in uh, research on political extremism, are, can then be used by agencies, intelligence agencies, in the fight against uh, political extremism. And this is a fruitful this leads to a fruitful cooperation uh, between theorists and practitioners in intelligence, and this is uh, an important task of the Intelligence College in Europe.